The featured Pokemon for September Community Day was just announced, and it's going to feature the larva Pokemon Grubbin. This Pokemon is a very interesting choice for a Community Day, and I do think there are a couple of things you will need to pay attention to when it comes to this event. That's what this video is going to be all about, so let's get right into it. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. All right, so today we got to talk about Grubbin Community Day because this particular Community Day is actually very interesting. In particular, I think Grubbin is going to make a huge difference with its evolved form after this Community Day and it might actually be a decent Pokemon for PvP. So real quick, let's go over the details for this particular Community Day because I do think there's a couple of things you will want to pay attention to. First and foremost, this community day is going to be happening on Saturday, September 23rd from 2 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. local time. The featured Pokemon is going to be Grubbin, which is a very interesting choice for a community day, but there's actually a reason why I do think this is going to make an impact. One of the reasons is, of course, Vikavolt, which is, of course, the fully evolved form of Grubbin. It is going to be getting Volt Switch as its Community Day exclusive move, which I actually think will make a huge difference for this Pokemon. There is, of course, also going to be a Community Day special research story that will actually give you some decent rewards. Like, I actually think these Community Day special research tickets are actually worth the $1, considering that you do get a decent amount of premium items, as well as a whole bunch of the featured Pokemon as rewards, so it's a great way for you to potentially get a high IV shiny. Now in terms of the event bonuses, you're going to get three times the amount of experience for catching Pokemon, two times the amount of candy for catching Pokemon, two times the chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive candy XL from catching Pokemon, and lure modules and incense will last for three hours. You will also get bonus spawns from taking snapshots, and you'll get one additional special trade during the day, and trades will require 50% less stardust. Overall, in terms of these bonuses, the big one that you will need to pay attention to is regards to those candy bonuses. One of the things that you could do with a candy bonus like this is store up a whole bunch of Pokemon rewards with research tasks. And once the community starts, you could start collecting all those rare Pokemon that you have saved up through research tasks, and then you will get a whole bunch of candy for those Pokemon. And just like with every other community day, there's going to be bonus raid hours after the community day ends. From 5 o'clock p.m. to 10 o'clock p.m. local time, there's going to be a bunch of four-star raids that's going to feature the Pokemon Charge Bug. And once you defeat these raids, you will get a whole bunch of Grubbin spawns spawning around it for 30 minutes. So if you miss out on the Community Day hours, this is a great way for you to still participate during this Community Day. There's also going to be a timed research, which is going to award you with the Magnetic Lures, which is something that you actually need in order to evolve Charge Bug into Vicabolt. So that is something you do need to keep in mind. And then finally, this is probably going to be standard for Community Days moving forward, but there's going to be Pokestop showcases featuring the Community Day Pokemon. So if you end up getting yourself any XXL Grubbin during the Community Day, make sure you save them for the Pokestop showcases at the end of it so that you could pick up additional rewards. So yeah, overall, this Community Day is looking to be pretty hype. You will want to utilize those two times candy bonuses, and of course, collecting XL candy is going to be pretty key as well. Vikavolt is likely going to be a very good Pokemon for the Go Battle League, but it may not necessarily be that much better than it currently is. But I do predict that it will make a big difference in the current Go Battle League meta. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, it getting Volt Switch is actually going to improve it quite a bit. So do not miss out on that. I actually think this Pokemon could serve you really well in PvP, and that's something you should not ignore. Of course, for players who do not necessarily care about PvP, this particular community day might be one that you will want to skip, because considering that when it comes to Electric-type raid attackers, we have Pokemon like Zekrom and Zerkatree, which are of course going to be significantly better. So yeah, when it comes to this community day, it's mainly PvP focused, which has been very typical with community days, but yeah, it's really going to be up to you, depending on how you play Pokemon Go. But in any case, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I would love to know your thoughts regarding this Community Day down below. Are you excited for Grubbin Community Day, or are you going to completely skip out on this one? Definitely share why in the comments, and let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. If you found it to be informative and helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on when 
whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You all make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then make sure you go and check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way in Pokemon Go, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. And also, if you want to support my channel non-monetarily, you could do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Count Jinsula, and I'm on the following platforms. Make sure you go there and follow me there. Alright, and that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.